Welcome to Vlogtober day seven. I'm quite proud of myself for having done a whole week of vlogging. Um, if I look, have a quick retrospective look, it's getting a bit easier actually. Um, I'm awash with ideas about what I could do for it. Um, so that's good. I mean, not for the full as many of 24 days it remain, but certainly for the next few days or days throughout the next, you know, till the end of the month. So, um, tonight's vlog is where I am going to write a letter to um, Mark Lamar, the former presenter of Nevermind the Buzzcocks, team captain on Shooting Stars, and he had a really good um, radio show on Radio 2 on Saturday nights. It was a real eclectic mix of music. I'm going to bring that down just a tiny bit. Yeah, really eclectic, a real eclectic mix of music. So it could be some kind of, I can't really, I don't know any, whoop, the camera slipped down a bit there. It could be something um, from the 1940s um, up to kind of like some early 90s mafiosa hip hop. So really, really eclectic mix. Then in 2010, he just kind of disappeared, left. Left Radio 2, I think he did some stuff on Radio 6 as well and, and just spit out the public eye. Um, which is fair enough because people change careers and why wouldn't someone change for a career out of the media? Uh, well, I, I can't think of a reason. Maybe if you're the absolute apex of it, I mean, if you're like a wood of ants and deck, then I suppose you're probably always going to be famous. If there's someone like Mark Lamar, you can disappear back into the ether and I imagine in a relatively short space of time get back a normal life however however contrary to one him not having a life in the public eye I managed to find find out what happened to him so by the look of it and I'm not going to reveal these details because you've got to have some kind of semblance of respect for someone's wishes um he he, he set up a, you know he has a couple of companies um, and using that, you can find contact details. So let's write the letter. So Microsoft Word. First things first, very respectful. Dear Mr. Lamar. Dear, I wrote Des with a Z, Mr. Lamar. I'll populate his address tomorrow. Dear Mr. Lamar. Uh, firstly, I would like to say I was a huge fan of you growing up. Me growing up, not you. <laughs> I'm going to put that. Firstly, I would like to say I was a huge fan of yours growing up. I was sad to see you left the entertainment industry, particularly your radio show. That's a good line. That's a good line. It's very polite. There we go. I'm pretty fast at typing. I'm not the fastest. If you know what that is, it's a wooden shutter I bought that will form um, a centerpiece in my bedroom. Um, I'm going for like a French cafe style. Um, I'll show you it. I've got a couple. Oh, that's quite heavy. Uh, uh. So that will get stuck to the wall um, and then there'll be kind of some glass hanging down from this. It'll be very nice. Maybe have like a duck egg blue in there. Back to the letter, back to the letter. First thing I'd like to say, I was a huge fan of yours growing up. I was sad to see you left the entertainment industry, particularly your radio show. Brilliant. I was wondering if you've been up to much Recently, uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are happy. I'm doing a blog about you, a vlog, and would love to hear from you. Thanks, Mike Marshall. 
Now, I'm going to post that to him because I'm not going to read the address, but I'll take a picture of the envelope and I'll fuzz out the address. So I'm going to send it to him tomorrow, which will be the 8th of October, and we'll see if he responds. And if he does, it'll be really exciting. And if he doesn't, at least we tried. So that is day 7 of October, where I reach out to Mark Lamar, um, and hopefully he responds. And hopefully he doesn't see it as an invasion of privacy. Uh, once again, thank you for watching.